here we are for the dark lager tasting, aka the Lauren Thunderstruck 77 lager. This is Lauren. Hi. She's joining us for a tasting. This was based off of, actually, I'll let you tell the story. So a long, long time ago, uh, I moved to the Czech Republic, was living in Prague, and I was somebody who hated beer, having most of my experience been, um, I don't know, like Natty Light uh, yeah, at a you right. know, beer pong um, in college. The Coors. Yeah, not good stuff. Um, I thought it was horse piss. So then when I moved to <laughs> Prague, the like land of delicious beer, I was given this to try and fell in love with beer, and I fell in love with this. It's Kozol Cherny, Cherny meaning dark. Uh, it's common and popular all throughout the Czech Republic. It's like not anything special there. They have all manner of Cherny beers uh, or Cherny Pivo, and uh, it's impossible to get in America, unfortunately. Uh, I've looked, Rob's looked, uh, Jay's looked, and, um, and so... Apparently, Kozel means goat. Yes. And that's why there's yeah. a goat right? on the label. Yeah. A dark uh, goat. Yeah, it's so a goat then, drinking beer on the label. When Rob <laughs> decided to start brewing, he very graciously decided to make a clone for me. And that is where the Lauren Lager went flipped around on the uh, little caps, turns into yeah. 77. Turns into 77. And uh, yeah, and thankfully Rob's parents just returned. Actually, just wrote seventy-seven. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we have some authentic Kozel Cherny uh, to to sample. To taste test. And since Jay's made it a ton of times, he finally gets to taste the the original. Very so excited. Let's do it. Yeah. So, um, no, no one we have not had this. He and I did a sample off it when we bottled, but it was uncarbonated, obviously. So yeah. we don't know, and this might not be carbonated. I hope it is. It is carbonated. All right. Want to do the honors? Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. We we obtained this because my parents took a riverboat cruise uh, through Europe, and they started in Budapest and ended in Prague. And I asked them to bring some back, and they said it came in bottles and in cans, and they were worried about it exploding in their luggage so they got the can <laughs> instead of the bottle which I actually, probably it's pretty pretty i don't remember yeah. it being in cans when i was there although yeah, must that be said i lived there like seven, seven eight years nine ago. years ago yeah. so the color is actually fairly similar pretty close. ours is a little darker so ours is a little darker yeah and this is a little more reddish looking and clearer this is a recipe that he actually put together because he's been trying to get this right for a long time. Five years? <laughs> yeah. Since started brewing, basically? Since we started brewing. Yeah. yeah. It was one of the first ones you made, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was like the third one I made. Yeah. yeah. And I'll link the recipe uh, below in the description, and I will also post the brew day video below in the description as well, so you guys can see the initial brew day. And it's 50% uh, Pilsner, 35% Munich malt, 8% Crawford 3, and 6% Munich malt. Those are the rough percentages. And our decoction we did was, we did one, two, three. We had a three decoctions. Yeah, it wasn't supposed to be three, <laughs> yeah. but because it went pear-shaped on us, yeah. we had to do three. Uh, the boil, uh, we just had Saws and Northern Brewer. Was it all 10 minutes? Oh, no, first wort hopped. Yeah. Yeah. I have a feeling this is the R R1, the 77 is going to be significantly yeah. hoppier yeah. than the Coast. Yeah, the IBU here says 28, and the yeast was the uh, Y yeast uh, 2206. So um, I don't, I don't, I couldn't find the specs unless I tried to look today, but the SR is 19. That looks to be the hair lighter, and yeah. it's just because of our decoction. It's probably what made that a little bit darker. Yeah. Uh, and our OG was at 10:53, 10:53, and I don't know. That's I think it's this is lower in alcohol too. I think so. Ours is five and a half percent. See, it's none of it's in English. So okay. And then we um, ended up lagering this for a good month and a half almost mm -hmm. at like 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and then bottled and let it sit for another good three weeks. Yeah, it looks really clear. It does look really it clear. Look so yeah, let's give her a taste. All right, you do the other. Oh, right. That's good. I like it. The roast, I feel like, is less than than when we first had it. It's mellowed out. It is mellowed out. It definitely has. It's, I mean, it's I think roasty. it's a pleasant, like but it's chocolate good. roasty. Yeah, it's just not where we were going. Yeah, it. it's almost no. more on that stout porter side of things than yeah, like a dark it lager, like a short yeah. or something. Yeah. I think it, yeah, I think it was a happy accident. Like it turned out pretty tasty, but it's definitely not what we intended. No. It to be. Well, it's definitely not a like a faithful clone. Yeah. 
And well, I let's try it first. Yeah. Let's see what. Well, okay. In my memory of nine years ago drinking this beer, what it was like. All right. I want you guys to taste okay. it. Okay. <laughs> it's def it's definitely a lot more maltier. It's, it's sweeter. really sweet. And then it's it's, yeah, I, th I think it's definitely lower in IBUs too. That's gets like, like 10, 10, 10, 10 IBUs. Yeah. yeah. And ours is 30 ish. Yeah. Yeah. But it's it is smooth. It is roasty, but mm. it's smooth. I mean, it's it definitely has that Shores beer sort of like smooth dark lager thing going on. I love it. Like I would order this again at a bar. Like if I got it, I'd be like. I like the color of the Kozel better though. I like it's very like it really does have that like nice reddish brown color. Yeah, it really does. <clears throat> I would I would be interested to do this again, obviously. But the tweak I think you would agree to make is maybe lighten it up a fraction. And a little lower IBU, and on and, yeah. and, and we'll nail our decoction. And a decoction, I think, I think, yeah, the right. decoction I think is supposed to be one quart per pound of grain when you pull off. We did what Beersmith to told us to do, and it was like, it was dry. Yeah, like it was yeah. basically there wasn't there wasn't enough like it wasn't boiling. It was just turning to like syrup. Yeah, almost. and, and we, like, didn't, we didn't pull enough off either. And yeah. that was the re that was it. And, and so we pulled more off and more off and more off and. Yeah, at one point we had like half our batch boiling. It was just, <laughs> it was a mess. Yeah. But the first time we did it though, with the rainy, the thunderstruck day, we we got the temperature right. So that's, it's uh, even good, I think, for summer. Like it's even yeah, though it's right. dark. You're right. Like it, you're right. It's, it's still pretty heavy, refreshing. Though. It's that's not, the yeah. great it, thing about you, these ones. You called it. It his. It has like a. a a cleanness to it that's not like sinking. Or it's not like a big stout or big porter. It's yeah. like. It has those elements, but then it gets more of just like a really simple, nice, easy drinking beer. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I think seeing as how it was created to mimic the beer that I loved, I think you guys surpassed it. Uh, nice. I think it's, it's better oh, than nice. the original, better than I I'll take the remember. Accolade. And yeah, yeah, you should. And um, yeah. I'm just gonna <laughs> go ahead and take this stuff. Yeah. Thanks. All right. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe and all that. Uh, until next time, stay tuned. Hit the like button. <laughs> hit the like button. Oh yeah, hit the smash the like button. They say yeah. it. Smash the like smash. button. Is that what the kids subscribe. say? Yeah.